ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर थ्री वन एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सी एग्जाम्पल वन पॉइंट नाइन ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वट इज क्वेश्चन टू पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड प्लस टेन एस टू माइनस एट कूलम एंड माइनस टेन एस टू माइनस एट कूलम वन इज पॉजिटिव वन इज नेगेटिव बट देर मैग्नीट्यूड आर इक्वल आर प्लेस जीरो पॉइंट वन मीटर अपार्ट Calculate the electric fields at point A, B, and C. Show me the figure. See what is figure. Q1 first charge positive. Q2 second charge negative. Distance between them is 0.1 meter. Point A is on midpoint of Q1 and Q2. B is here at 0.05 meter away from point. charge q q1 point c is here from positive charge at point 1 meter from negative charge at point 1 meter you have to find electric field at point a b and c see q1 positive charge 10 to minus 8 coulomb q2 minus 10 to minus 8 coulomb but their magnitudes are same okay mole of q1 is equal to mole of q2 Is equal to n s two minus eight coulomb. Clear? Now, electric field at point A. You have to ask one simple question. At point A, electric field is due to charges. Charges are Q one and Q two. So first of all, we will find electric field at point A due to Q one, then due to Q two. See, electric field at point A due to Q one. E A one, it is magnitude, so is equal to K Q one upon R A one square. K nine into ten raised to minus. What is magnitude of first charge? Ten raised to minus eight. R A one means distance between A and one. A and one. This distance is zero point one meter. A is on midpoint, so this distance is zero point zero five meter. So what is distance between A and one? Zero point zero five. Clear. Nine divided by zero point zero five divided by zero point zero five is three six zero zero. Ten is to nine. Ten is to minus eight. So it is ten. So we can write three point six into ten is to four newton per coulomb. Now you put it in direction. C in figure. C. At point A, you have to find electric field due to Q one. Q one is positive charge. We know that due to positive charge, electric field is radially Outside, radially outside, radially outside means due to this Q1 positive charge at point A, electric field is outside. It is E A one. Clear? Due to positive outside. Okay. So it is from figure we can say it is from Q1 to Q2. It is from Q1 to Q2. Clear? Now. Electric field at point A due to Q that is negative charge. Electric field at point A due to Q. E A two K Q two R A two square magnitude K nine into ten to nine Q two what is its magnitude ten to minus eight distance between A and Q two zero point zero five meter square. Calculation is same three point six into ten to four meter per coulomb. What is direction? See here in figure. Due to negative charge, electric field is radially inside. Radially inside. So due to Q2, that is negative charge. What is direction of electric field towards? In this direction, it is direction of E A two. Clear? Which is also from Q1 to Q2. So see, from figure we can say at point A. Electric field due to Q1 in this direction. Electric field due due to Q2 again in this direction. Direction is same. Direction is same. So resultant electric field at A E A is equal to E A1 plus E A2 because direction is same. Direction is same. Direction is same. Clear. 
So Ea1 plus Ea2, 3.6 into 10 is to 4, 3.6 into 10 is to 4, 3 is 7.2 into 10 is to 4 newton per coulomb. And what is direction? In this direction, it is direction of Ea from Q1 to Q2. From Q1 to Q2. Clear? So it is electric field acting on A. Similarly, we will find what is electric field at point B. What is electric field at point B? Again, okay. electric field at point B is due to Q1 and Q2. Magnitude find. Electric field at point B due to Q1, EB1 is equal to KQ1 RB1 square. What is value of K? 9 into 10 is to 9. Q1 10 is to minus A. RB1. B1 means distance between B and Q1. C in figure. C in figure. Q1. B, what is distance between them? 0 0.05. What is distance between them? 0 0.05. Clear? We know its answer. 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb. Now, what is direction? C in figure. Here. Due to B, sorry, at point B, due to Q1, positive charge. Due to positive charge, electric field is radially outside. So outside means away from Q1 in this direction. It is EB1. Clear? It is EB1. Clear? And it out. Okay? Okay. Now due to charge to electric field at point B due to Q2. Electric field at point B due to Q2. EB2 is equal to K Q2 upon R B2 square. K 9 to 10 is to 9. Q2 10 is to minus 8. What is RB2? See in figure B2. It is point B. It is second charge. It is point B and it is second charge, minus charge. What is distance between them? 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05. So total distance is 0 0.15. Clear? So answer is 4 into 10 is to 4 into 10 raised to 3. Any doubt? Sure. What is direction? See. At point B, due to this negative charge, due to negative charge, electric field is radially towards. Radially inside means in this direction. It is direction of AB2. You have to place here, you need positive charge. On this unit positive charge, due to this positive charge, there is repulsive force, and due to this negative charge, there is attractive force. So see, EB1 is in this direction. In this direction means from Q2 to Q1. From Q2 to Q1. And EB2. EB2. It is from Q1 to Q. It is from Q1 to Q. So from figure we can say. From figure, we can say EB1 and EB2, they are in mutually opposite direction. They are in mutually opposite direction due to the positive charge outside, due to this negative charge inside. Due to positive charge outside, due to negative charge inside. They are in mutually opposite direction. So, resultant electric field at B, EB is equal to EB1 minus EB2. Why minus? Direction is opposite. Why minus? Direction is opposite. Why minus? Direction opposite. Clear? Okay. So, 3.6 into 10 to 4. It is 4 into 10 raised to 3. I can write this as 0 0.4 into 10 raised to 4. So 3.6 minus 0 0.4, it is 3.2 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb. Now give me answer. Which magnitude is greater? 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 or 4 into 10 raised to 3? Yes. 3.6 into 10 raised to 4. So resultant electric field is in the direction of EB1 is in direction of EB1. What is direction of EB1? From Q2 to Q1. From Q2 to Q1. So resultant electric field at point B is in this direction. 
it is ab clear okay now last what is resultant electric field at point c c here it is point c q1 what is its magnitude 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb q2 what is its magnitude 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb means magnitude of charges are equal from q1 distance is 0.1 meter from q2 distance is 0.1 meter means distances are also equal so we can say c the magnitudes of electric field at point c due to q1 and q2 are equal ec1 is equal to ec2 is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 8 that is charge in distance point 1 whole square so the answer is 9 into 10 raised to 3 newton per coulomb but now question is is ec1 plus ec2 or ec1 minus ec2 or anything else for that you have to check direction see here due to positive charge electric field is outside positive charge electric field is outside so it is ec1 clear due to negative charge electric field is radially inside means towards means towards means towards in this direction it is e c any doubt any doubt now we will resolve this ec1 and ec2 into components see ec1 and ec2 into components components of ec1 first component in this direction and second component in this direction clear okay components of ec2 components of ec2 first component in this direction second component in this direction any doubt okay now see it is 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 this angle is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree clear so ec1 makes angle 60 degree with this component when this component is called ec1 cos 60 and it is called ec1 sin Wait out. Sure. Okay. Now for this, see it is EC2. It is EC2. Similarly, see it is 60 degree Z. So if it is 60 degree, then this angle is also 60 degree. So EC2 is making angle 60 degree with this component. So it is called EC2 cos 60 degree and it is called EC2 sin 60 degree. Clear? So we have resolved EC1 into components. EC1 cos 60, EC1 sin 60. EC2 is resolved into components. EC2 cos 60, EC2 sin 60. See in figure this EC1 sin 60 and EC2 sin 60 EC1 sin 60 and EC2 sin 60. EC1 is equal to EC2. So they are equal. So they are equal. Equal and the direction is opposite. So these two components will cancel out each other. These two components will cancel out each other. So what is resultant electric? at point C it is EC1 cos 60 plus EC2 cos 60 because they have same direction they have same direction so here we can write resultant field at point C EC is equal to EC1 cos 60 plus EC2 cos 60 so we can write it is 2 EC1 cos 60 because EC1 is equal to EC2. So is equal to 2. What is value of EC1 and EC2? 9 into 10 raised to 9 cos 60, 1 by 2, 2 2 cuts. So your answer is 9 into 10 raised to 9 Newton per Coulomb. Newton per Coulomb. And see what is resultant direction EC in this direction towards right.
towards right. Clear? So it is one best example of vector addition. Of vector addition. Okay, how to add vectors? How to add vectors? In first case, two electric fields are in same direction. So plus. Two electric fields are in opposite direction. So minus. Here, they are not in same direction. They are not in opposite direction. Then you have to resolve these two vectors in mutually perpendicular components. Clear? Means with the help of components. Okay? So it is one question based on superposition of electric field. Write down in your notebook and send notes on my number. Thank you.